accidentally hit next <laughs> before I'm um, getting to before doing my intro. Anyway, um, welcome back to Voices from the Sea. Um, this is getting quite interesting. I really am curious. I have a feeling there might be a dark twist in this. Either that she's not real, or that she's a ghost, or something like that. I, um, yeah. I am curious. I am very curious. The night never felt so long. I just couldn't wait for the sun to rise. I've never been so eager to return to the sea. Countess, you're up so early today. It's Saturday. You can sleep some more if you want to. I ignore her and put on my shoes. Countess, where are you going? It's none of your business. Countess, please. Where have you been lately? You're hardly home. Like I said, it's none of your business. Besides, weren't you the one who told me to go out and make some friends? That's right, but... Do this, do that. Don't do this, don't do that. Like really, what do you want from me? Can't you just let me do what I want? Cantus. She looks visibly shocked by my sudden outburst. Well, kind of to be expected. I mean, if you're saying, yes, go out and do this, go make friends, go and whatever, and then when he's actually staying out with a friend, that's assuming what she is, you're like, you're out too much. Why are you out too much? Just questioning it. It's like you're giving mis mis mixed messages. Either you want him to go out and have friends and spend time with those friends, or you don't. You don't have it two ways. You can't have it two ways. For a brief, m brief moment, the entire living room is quiet, as if time just stands still. Even then, it feels like an eternity. Mom likes to talk. She virtually talks about everything, including things that I don't want to hear. Sometimes, I just want her to shut up. But, why do I feel like this when she finally does so? It's the same thing, you can't have it both ways. If she talks, she talks. If you want her to shut up, and she does, and you feel awkward, you can't have it both ways. Either she talks, and you don't feel awkward, or she doesn't talk, and you feel awkward. Take your pick. And the silence is so heavy. It's suffocating. Daddy will be back tomorrow morning. We haven't seen him in a year. Come back soon. And sleep early today, so we can go fetch Daddy at the airport together, okay? I run as fast as I can to the beach. Contus? You're so early today. What's wrong? I heave a sigh of relief the moment I hear her voice. She's still here. It, it's nothing. It's Saturday. There's no school today. I thought I should come early. Yay! Marius is so happy. <sighs> huh? What happened? Did I hear something wrong? I haven't seen her look this upset in a while. No, that's not it. 
It's just that Mattis hasn't thought of anything yet. Mighty spent the entire night thinking, but nothing came to mind. Mighty's is simply clueless of what to do. Just talk to me. How can Mighty's make Contus happy? I think you already are, just by talking to me. Just by being here. He was eager to see you. That's why you are making him happy. Already. He may not be smiling, but he is happy. I think you take this too seriously. You don't really have to do anything, you know? No. Might as well give up until Contus is happy. If there's anything I've learned these past few days, that would be how stubborn she is. I'd better think of something. Hmm. Why don't you sing for me? Uh huh? <laughs> yeah? You have a beautiful voice. I'm sure it would sound wonderful. <laughs> Do you have trouble singing in front of others? No, that's not it. It's just that... She's surprisingly hesitant. Fine. Midas will do it. Just don't blame Midas if something bad happens. Something bad? What is she talking about? Oh man, she's making me nervous now. She takes a deep breath, and... The next thing that comes is something else entirely. <laughs> I, instinctively, I instinctively cover my ears at the instant she opens her mouth. For a second, I thought I heard a thunderstorm. She stops the moment she realizes what I did. A few seconds later, her face turns bright red. <laughs> I cover my mouth, trying my hardest not to laugh. Contus, did you just laugh? No. No? <laughs> you liar. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. Even if I did, it doesn't count. You promised to make me smile, not laugh. What? That's not fair! You're just splitting hairs now! I turned my head away, still trying my hardest not to laugh. <laughs> How can someone like you be so bad at singing? Boo. You remind me of my mom. She sucks at it, too. I remember she used to sing in front of me. It was a nightmare. Can you believe she wanted to be a star when she was my age? Like, seriously. What was she thinking? Contis, you talk about your mother all the time. Do I? What about your father? He works out of country. He only comes back once a year. I hardly met him. I heard he's a photographer or something along those lines. I'm not too sure. Dad is pretty secretive with his job. Speaking of which, he's going to return tomorrow morning. I might have to leave early today so I can go fetch him at the airport. I see. Do you miss him? Not really. I guess a little. How about your mother? Do you miss her? I see her every day. Why would I miss her? I see Contus every day too. But I still miss you. Right. Contus doesn't miss Maddie's? Do you seriously want me to say that? 
<laughs> Once again, we spent the entire day talking about meaningless little things. I know I have so many questions I want to ask her, yet I can't bring myself to say it. It's like a magic trick. Once you know the secret, it will never be the same. I return home early just as promised. I dive to my bed, reminiscing about what happened earlier. Tomorrow? It'll be the seventh day since we've met. Give me seven days. I'll make you smile. Wait a second. Why does it have to be seven days? It didn't occur to me how odd it was for her to be that specific. Don't tell me. I jump out of my bed and reach for the alarm clock. It's twelve. The road to the beach is dark. The only thing that illuminates it is the stars in the sky. As I gaze to the dark sea, I notice that familiar figure. She's there. That's not good! Your mother is going to get worried! I don't care. I want to be here. Why? I feel like it. Mattis doesn't get it! It doesn't seem that I can convince her without giving her a reason. Waiting for a shooting star, right? I'll wait with you. Uh huh? Are you sure? It might take a long time before you could see one. It's pretty boring to stay here and wait. I'm curious how it looks like. But, but what if there won't be any today? You might just be wasting your time. It's fine. You're also here waiting, aren't you? That's right, but... Doesn't Contus have school tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday. Oh, right. You don't want my company? No, of course not. Maddie's is happy. Really happy. Pretty obvious it, it's pretty obvious that she's trying to find all sorts of excuses for me to go home. But I know I'll regret it if I leave right now. That being said, it is pretty boring sitting here and doing nothing. Unlike during the day, you can barely see the waves. There's not much to see in the darkness other than the stars.
annoyed here. I'll go look for seashells. We haven't done it yet today, have we? Oh, right. What did you find? I put the shell high up in the sky and let the sh stars shine above it. <laughs> it's not a. What is that? It's not a shell. Good question. I've never seen anything like it. It looks like a fish. But its head looks kind of like someone's head. Oh, I get it. It's a mermaid. Isn't a mermaid a legendary being with the upper body of a human and the tail of a fish? I can hear millions of mermaid fans crying. As usual, our conversation always goes in the weirdest direction. But it's relieving to see her back to her usual self. We talk a little bit more before she suddenly stops and prompts, and promptly points to the sky. Come to look. It's a shooting star. It's a lot of them. I gaze at the incredible spectacle right in front of us. No, it's a sea of shooting stars. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. It's just like when I saw the sea for the first time. It's beyond amazing. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're able to experience it? Even if it's just for a moment? Yeah. When you yearn for it, you yearn for it when you don't have it. When you finally have it, you want it for eternity. It, is it greedy that I wanted more? These past few days have been the strangest experience I've ever encountered in my life. I can't describe the feelings I have now. Perhaps it's no different with how I feel as I look at the fallen stars as they paint the dark blue sky. I wish for it to last forever. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, there's one more day. I will continue. Day seven. I don't know how much time has passed. It's only until the sun rises above the horizon before I realize how long it has been. Contis, it's morning. Yeah. Isn't it enough already? Shouldn't you be heading home? Your mother will be worried if you don't. I don't care. What about your father? Aren't you going to fetch him today? Like I said, I don't care. They only care about themselves. Why should I care? Come 
delicious. You know that's not true. You do care. We talk about many things. You always ended up talking about your family. Are you sure you don't care about them? I was inches away from retaliating. Yet, as if something was stuck in my throat, I couldn't say a word. Hey, Gantus! Mighty's is a brilliant idea. Let's play a game! A game? Yep. Yeah. Let's count how many things your mother has done for you. What? Why do I need to do that? This is the final round. There won't be another one after this. Will you do it? Please? I don't understand why she asked me to do something like that. Nothing will come out of this charade. It's just a waste of time. But those eyes that look straight at me. They're so sincere. How can I refuse? Fine. I'll play with you for the last time. Things my mom has done for me, huh? I know, I know. She gave birth to Contus. Don't state the obvious. It's embarrassing. <laughs> well, it is the obvious, that's for sure. But that's super important. It is super important. Without her, Marius would be able to read Contus. Plus, it took a whole nine months and a very painful delivery. That's an incredible achievement. Don't you think so? How can I say anything if she puts it that way? Okay, it's Conta's sister now. Are we really going to do this? I already feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. But we just started. Come on, put your hands up and start counting. Surely your mother has done a lot more for you. I guess. Well... She cooks for me. Yes. She likes to make my favorite food, chicken pot pie. Yes. Really? Really? Oh god, Jewel. <laughs> that sounds delicious. It is. She can't sing, but she sure knows how to cook. Marius is so jealous. Marius would love to eat her cooking someday. That would be nice. So, what's next? Hmm. She also cleans the house. I don't like it when she touches my stuff, but she does keep the house clean. How about laundry? That too. She's a clean freak. She has to make sure everything is in order, or she just can't stand still. I see. Speaking of which, she bought me these headphones. And the shirt, too. Yeah, she bought me so many things, including a bunch of things I don't need. You're so spoiled, Contus. It's so strange. I was against the idea in the beginning, but once I started, I couldn't stop talking. Before I knew it, the list just keeps growing and growing. Every time I thought I would run out of things to say, something new pops up immediately. Oh, that's right. The one who brought me to the beach was... Gantus, look! <gasps> you can see her! This is Mom's favorite place. It's beautiful, isn't it? I hope you like it too. Mom 
Mommy, Mommy, can I bring it home? <laughs> Don't be silly. Here, you can bring this home instead. Seashells are pretty, aren't they? Before long, I ran out of fingers to count. Contus? What's wrong, Contus? I didn't realize my tears were streaming down my cheeks. That's right. It was mom. She's always there. Conscious. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's all Maris's fault. Wait a second. Why are you crying too? I'm sorry. Maris wants to make Hunter smile. Maris wants to make Hunter happy. What all Maris has done is make Hunter sad. Maris is a total failure. No. It's the opposite. No words can express my gratitude. Thank you. I'm alright now. Huh? Maris doesn't get it! It should be I came now. Hey, Maris. Will you tell me who you really are? Well... Maris isn't a ghost. I know that. Maddie's isn't a mermaid. Of course you're not. Last but not least, Maddie's isn't a magical girl. <laughs> finally. You finally smile. Yeah. In the end, I didn't get the answer I was looking for. I can't say I'm not disappointed. Double negative. Okay. But I know. This is probably for the best. Countess. Huh? Mom? Go. Go to the place you belong. She pushes me towards my mom. Mom? What are you doing here? I came because I thought I would find you here. You really like this place ever since you were a child. Candace, I'm sorry. I've always forced my opinion on you. I've never really thought of what you want. I'm such a terrible mother. And I'm such a terrible son. Isn't that a match made in heaven? Nah, that's not right. The only terrible person here is me. You're a wonderful mother. I'm sorry it took me so long to realize it. And... Thank you for everything. Are you okay? Yeah. Do I look sick to you? No. You just feel different. It's like my little boy has grown up. I'm still a little boy. <laughs> Let's go home. Here. Yeah. We need to go fetch Dad, too. Right. I've almost forgotten about that. His plane arrives at six. We'd better hurry. Right. By the way, what are you doing here all alone? Holy! 
all alone. She can't see Morris. Alone? Yeah, I thought you were with your friends. Mom didn't see her. For some reason, it doesn't surprise me. I wasn't alone. I was talking to a friend. A friend? Where is this friend of yours? Maybe God, I was right. It was all in my head. You mean, something like an imaginary friend? Still can't believe it, though. She looks so real. Am I going crazy or something? Hmm. Speaking of an imaginary friend... No, 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 no! <laughs> Did I call this before? I had one too when I was your age. Huh? She was a cute little girl. She's a bit weird, but she has a very beautiful voice. The first time I saw her, I thought, I just saw the sea. No way. This can't be. Oh, by the way. Cactus is my sister's friend. Cactus is the second one. By the way, what do you have in your hand? Oh my, what a cute little bottle. Where did you get it? She's not an imaginary being. She's really there. Cantus. What's wrong? It's nothing. It's probably just a shooting star. I'm not sure I follow. That's right. She comes and goes, just like a shooting star. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I may never come across it again. But I know one thing for sure. I'll remember it. Forever. Let's see what's after this. So it looks like there's still a lot of locked content. Um, so yeah, when you play, um, unlock the content for yourself. Um, I'm going to end this video here and then I'm going to look at the epilogue. I'll leave the epilogue for when you play the game. You can see the epilogue for yourself and look at all the other extra stuff yourself. Um, I'm not going to show everything. <laughs> but um yeah well um I did kind of call it back can't remember which episode it was where I said that after she said that her first friend 
that she may have been friends with the mother? I don't know. <laughs> but I was also tossing her whether she's dead. I don't know what she is, but... Interesting. Incredibly interesting. And, um... It didn't have a dark twist, but it was quite sweet, the ending. Um, but yeah. I'll end this here. And... I'll see you in the next one.